Pope Clement I Latin, Clemens Romanus, Greek, Clems Romes died 99, also known as Saint Clement of Rome, is listed by Irenaeus and Tertullian as Bishop of Rome, holding office from 88 to his death in 99. He is considered to be the first apostolic father of the Church. Few details are known about Clement's life. Clement was said to have been consecrated by Saint Peter, and he is known to have been a leading member of the Church in Rome in the late 1st century. Early church lists place him as the second or third bishop of Rome after St. Peter. The Liber Pontificalis states that Clement died in Greece in the third year of Emperor Trajan's reign, or 101 AD. Clement's only genuine extant writing is his letter to the church at Corinth in response to a dispute in which certain presbyters of the Corinthian church had been deposed. He asserted the authority of the presbyters as rulers of the church on the ground that the apostles had appointed such. His letter, which is one of the oldest extant Christian documents outside the New Testament, was read in church, along with other epistles, some of which later became part of the Christian canon. These works were the first to affirm the apostolic authority of the clergy. A second epistle, to Clement, was attributed to Clement, although recent scholarship suggests it to be a homily by another author. In the legendary Clementine literature, Clement is the intermediary through whom the apostles teach the church. According to tradition, Clement was imprisoned under the emperor Trajan. During this time, he is recorded to have led a ministry among fellow prisoners. Thereafter, he was executed by being tied to an anchor and thrown into the sea. Clement is recognized as a saint in many Christian churches and is considered a patron saint of mariners. He is commemorated on 23 November in the Catholic Church, the Anglican Communion, and the Lutheran Church. In Eastern Orthodox Christianity his feast is kept on 24 or 25 November. Life The Liber Pontificalis presents a list that makes Pope Linus II in the line of bishops of Rome, with Peter as first, but at the same time it states that Peter ordained two bishops, Linus and Pope Cletus, for the priestly service of the community, devoting himself instead to prayer and preaching, and that it was to Clement that he entrusted the Church as a whole, appointing him as his successor. Tertullian considered Clement to be the immediate successor of Peter. In one of his works, Jerome listed Clement as the fourth bishop of Rome after Peter, and added that, most of the Latins think that Clement was second after the Apostle. Clement is put after Linus and Cletus, Anacletus in the earliest c. 180 account, that of Irenaeus, who is followed by Eusebius of Caesarea. Early succession lists name Clement as the first, second, or third successor of St. Peter. However, the meaning of his inclusion in these lists has been very controversial. Some believe there were presbyter bishops as early as the first century, but that there is no evidence for a monarchical episcopacy in Rome at such an early date. There is also, however, no evidence of a change occurring in ecclesiastical organization in the latter half of the second century, which would indicate that a new or newly monarchical episcopacy was establishing itself. Also Dionysus of Corinth and Irenaeus of Lyon both viewed Clement as a monarchial bishop who intervened in the dispute in the Church of Corinth. Starting in the 3rd and 4th century, tradition has identified him as the Clement that Paul mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 verse 3, a fellow laborer in Christ. While in the mid-19th century it was customary to identify him as a freedman of Titus Flavius Clemens, who was consul with his cousin, the emperor Domitian, this identification, which no ancient sources suggest, afterwards lost support. The second-century shepherd of Hermas mentions a Clement whose office it was to communicate with other churches, most likely, this is a reference to Clement I. A large congregation existed in Rome c. 58, when Paul wrote his epistle to the Romans. Paul arrived in Rome c. 60 Acts. His captivity epistles, as well as Mark, Luke, Acts, and 1 Peter were written here, according to many scholars. Paul and Peter were said to have been martyred there. Nero persecuted Roman Christians after Rome burned in 64, and the congregation may have suffered further persecution under Domitian 81-96. Clement was the first of early Rome's most notable bishops. The Liber Pontificalis, which documents the reigns of popes, states that Clement had known St. Peter. Clement is known for his epistle to the church in Corinth c. 96, in which he asserts the apostolic authority of the bishops, presbyters as rulers of the church. 
The epistle mentions episcopoi overseers, bishops, or presbyteroi elders, presbyters as the upper class of minister, served by the deacons, but, since it does not mention himself, it gives no indication of the title or titles used for Clement in Rome. <laughs> Death and legends of final days According to apocryphal acta dating to the 4th century at earliest, Clement was banished from Rome to the Chersonesus during the reign of the Emperor Trajan and was set to work in a stone quarry. Finding on his arrival that the prisoners were suffering from lack of water, he knelt down in prayer. Looking up, he saw a lamb on a hill, went to where the lamb had stood and struck the ground with his pickaxe, releasing a gushing stream of clear water. This miracle resulted in the conversion of large numbers of the local pagans and his fellow prisoners to Christianity. As punishment, Saint Clement was martyred by being tied to an anchor and thrown from a boat into the Black Sea. The legend recounts that every year a miraculous ebbing of the sea revealed a divinely built shrine containing his bones. However, the oldest sources on Clement's life, Eusebius and Jerome, note nothing of his martyrdom. The Inkerman Cave Monastery marks the supposed place of Clement's burial in the Crimea. A year or two before his own death in 869, Saint Cyril brought to Rome what he believed to be the relics of Saint Clement, bones he found in the Crimea buried with an anchor on dry land. They are now enshrined in the Basilica di San Clemente. Other relics of Saint Clement, including his head, are claimed by the Kiev Monastery of the Caves in Ukraine. Writings <inaudible> 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 The Liber Pontificalis states that Clement wrote two letters though the second letter, to Clement, is no longer ascribed to him. <inaudible> Epistle of Clement Clement's only existing, genuine text is a letter to the Christian congregation in Corinth, often called the First Epistle of Clement or One Clement. The history of One Clement clearly and continuously shows Clement as the author of this letter. It is considered the earliest authentic Christian document outside the New Testament. Clement writes to the troubled congregation in Corinth, where certain presbyters or bishops have been deposed. The class of clergy above that of deacons is designated indifferently by the two terms. Clement calls for repentance and reinstatement of those who have been deposed, in line with maintenance of order and obedience to church authority, since the apostles established the ministry of bishops and deacons. He mentions offering the gifts as one of the functions of the higher class of clergy. The epistle offers valuable insight into church ministry at that time and into the history of the Roman Church. It was highly regarded, and was read in church at Corinth along with the scriptures c. 170. We should be obedient unto God, rather than follow those who in arrogance and unruliness have set themselves up as leaders in abominable jealousy. For Christ is with them that are lowly of mind, not with them that exalt themselves over the flock. 1 Clem 14-1, 16-1 Do we then think it to be a great and marvelous thing, if the Creator of the universe shall bring about the resurrection of them that have served Him with holiness in the assurance of a good faith, seeing that He showeth to us even by a bird the magnificence of His promise? 1 Clem 26-1 In the epistle, Clement uses the terms bishop and presbyter interchangeably for the higher order of ministers above deacons. In some congregations, particularly in Egypt, the distinction between bishops and presbyters seems to have become established only later. But by the middle of the second century all the leading Christian centers had bishops. Scholars such as Bart Ehrman treat as significant the fact that, of the seven letters written by Ignatius of Antioch to seven Christian churches shortly after the time of Clement, the only one that does not present the church as headed by a single bishop is that addressed to the church in Rome. Although this letter did not refer to a collective priesthood either, the epistle has been cited as the first work to establish Roman primacy, but most scholars see the epistle as more fraternal than authoritative, and Orthodox scholar John Mayendorf sees it as connected with the Roman Church's awareness of its priority rather than primacy among local churches. Topic. Writings formerly attributed to Clement Topic. Topic. Second Epistle of Clement 
The second epistle of Clement is a homily, or sermon, likely written in Corinth or Rome, but not by Clement. Early Christian congregations often shared homilies to be read. The homily describes Christian character and repentance. It is possible that the church from which Clement sent his epistle had included a festal homily to share in one economical post, thus the homily became known as the second epistle of Clement. While 2 Clement has been traditionally ascribed to Clement, most scholars believe that 2 Clement was written in the 2nd century based on the doctrinal themes of the text and a near match between words in 2 Clement and in the Greek Gospel of the Egyptians. Topic. Epistles on virginity Topic. 2. Epistles on virginity were traditionally attributed to Clement, but now there exists almost universal consensus that Clement was not the author of those two epistles. Topic. False decretals Topic. A 9th century collection of church legislation known as the False Decretals, which was once attributed to Saint Isidore of Seville, is largely composed of forgeries. All of what it presents as letters of pre-Nicene popes, beginning with Clement, are forgeries, as are some of the documents that it attributes to councils, and more than 40 falsifications are found in the decretals that it gives as those of post-Nicene popes from Pope Sylvester I to Pope Gregory II the false decretals were part of a series of falsifications of past legislation by a party in the Carolingian Empire whose principal aim was to free the church and the bishops from interference by the state and the metropolitan archbishops respectively. Clement is included among other early Christian popes as authors of the pseudo Isidoran or false decretals, a 9th century forgery. These decrees and letters portray even the early popes as claiming absolute and universal authority. Clement is the earliest pope to whom a text is attributed. Topic. Clementine literature Topic. Saint Clement is also the hero of an early Christian romance or novel that has survived in at least two different versions, known as the Clementine literature, where he is identified with Emperor Domitian's cousin Titus Flavius Clemens. Clementine literature portrays Clement as the Apostles means of disseminating their teachings to the Church. Topic. Recognition as a saint Topic. Saint Clement's name is in the Roman canon of the Mass. He is commemorated on 23 November as a pope and martyr in the Catholic Church as well as within the Anglican Communion and the Lutheran Church. The Syriac Orthodox Church, the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, the Macedonian Orthodox Church and the Greek Orthodox Church, as well as the Syriac Catholic Church, the Syro-Malankara Catholic Church and all Byzantine Rite Eastern Catholic Churches commemorate Saint Clement of Rome called in Syriac, More Clemies. On 24 November, the Russian Orthodox Church commemorates Saint Clement on 25 November. The St. Clement's Church in Moscow is renowned for its glittering Baroque interior and iconostasis, as well as a set of gilded 18th-century railings. The parish was disbanded in 1934 and the original freestanding gate was demolished. The Lenin State Library stored its books in the building throughout the Soviet period. It was not until 2008 that the building reverted to the Russian Orthodox Church. Saint Clement of Rome is commemorated in the Synaxarium of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria on the 29th of the month of Hatter, the 25th of November, Julian, equivalent to the 8th of December, Gregorian, due to the current 13-day Julian Gregorian calendar offset. According to the Coptic Church Synaxarium, he suffered martyrdom in AD 100 during the reign of Emperor Trajan, 98 to 117. He was martyred by tying his neck to an anchor and casting him into the sea. The record of the 29th of the Coptic month of Hatter states that this saint was born in Rome to an honorable father whose name was Faustinus and also states that he was a member of the Roman Senate and that his father educated him and taught him Greek literature. Topic. Relics Topic. In the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife in Spain, it is the tap of San Clemente, gift of Mr. Cidoti, Patriarch of Antioch to the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Historically this was a highly revered relic in the city. Symbolism 
Topic. In works of art, Saint Clement can be recognized by having an anchor at his side or tied to his neck. He is most often depicted wearing papal vestments, including the pallium, and sometimes with a papal tiara but more often with a mitre. He is also sometimes shown with symbols of his office as Pope or Bishop of Rome such as the papal cross and the keys of heaven. In reference to his martyrdom, he often holds the palm of martyrdom. Saint Clement can be seen depicted near a fountain or spring, relating to the incident from his hagiography, or lying in a temple in the sea. The anchored cross or mariner's cross is also referred to as Saint Clement's cross, in reference to the way he was martyred. See also Topic List of popes List of Catholic saints Saint Clement's Day Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic Clark, W. K. Lother, ed. 1937. The First Epistle of Clement to the Corinthians. London, Society for the Promotion of Christian Knowledge. Grant, Robert M., ed. 1964. The Apostolic Fathers. New York, Nelson. Loomis, Louise Ropes. 1916. The Book of Popes. Liber Pontificalis. Merchantville, N.J., Evolution Publishing. ISBN 1-889758-86-8. Lightfoot, J. B. The Apostolic Fathers. London, Macmillan. Meeks, Wayne A. The Origins of Christian Morality, The First Two Centuries. New Haven, Yale Univ. Press. ISBN 0-300-05640-0. Richardson, Cyril Charles Early Christian Fathers. The Library of Christian Classics. Philadelphia, Westminster Press. Staniforth, Maxwell 1968. Early Christian Writings. Baltimore, Penguin. Topic. External links Topic. Saint Clement I. Encyclopedia Britannica Online. Herberman, Charles, ed. 1913. Pope Saint Clement I. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Works by or about Pope Clement I at Internet Archive. Works by Pope Clement I at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks. Two Epistles Concerning Virginity. Opera Omnia. Hieromartyr Clement the Pope of Rome Eastern Orthodox Icon and Synaxarian. Patron Saints Index, Pope Saint Clement I. Saint Clement at the Christian Iconography website. Here followeth the life of Saint Clement. In the Caxton translation of the Golden Legend. Street. Clement of Rome, Pope and Martyr, 1st century. Colonnade statue in Saint Peter's Square.